Hi everyone, Stephen for futurelooks.com and today we actually have a very special unboxing video for you today. Inside this box is apparently a golden beast called the Z87i Deluxe. It's a mini ITX board from ASUS and it's not even been released yet, so stay tuned. This is very early silicone here. Uh, I think this is probably not going to look like the um, retail box, at least I hope not. Uh, inside the box here, you'll see that there's really, it's not very complete, but we'll show you whatever is inside. Uh, first off, we get the, uh, we get the motherboard IO back panel right here, pretty standard. We also get the um, driver CD, which obviously this is not production ready. Uh, it's just a burn CD from the factory. So really early stuff. Now, one of the uh, rumored uh, features of this board is, of course, the wireless AC capacity. Uh, this is one of the uh, antennas that plugs into the board. And this is actually a really nice touch. It's um, a flat antenna. And it kind of, there's instructions on here to kind of make it stand up like so. So it'll do something like that. Uh, so really nice looking, a uh, little bit more attractive than some of those stubby antennas that we've seen on the market so far. And it folds flat so that you can store it, you can put it in your briefcase if you are, or your land bag if you're taking the system to a land party. And then finally inside the box, there's really nothing else except for the motherboard itself. So let's have a look at that. Now, one thing that I did find in the bottom of the box is this thing right here uh, looks to be an extend, extended uh, Q connector. Uh, the Q connector is something that uh, ASUS boards are really well known for because it allows you to plug in your front panel uh, header cables into it and then plug it directly onto the motherboard header itself without looking through the manual to figure out which pin assignments are which. Uh, this cable here uh, has a similar connector in the backside here, but it's also labeled all the hard drive LED, power LED, and power switch connectors right here. It definitely doesn't look like it's quite finished yet. I'm sure that uh, this is very early and someone will probably make it look a little bit nicer in the shipping version of this particular accessory that comes with the Z87i Deluxe motherboard. Moving to the board itself, there are some really really cool notable features here that make it very suitable for a high performance mini ITX system that's perfect for gaming or whatever you want to do with it, uh, even overclocking. So let me point those out to you. First off, uh, taking um, a note from the original board that it it uh, replaces. Uh, this one does have the full size VRM. This is a full on VRM that's very similar to what you would find on a full size motherboard, which means that there is literally no compromise in power delivery and performance when you want to overclock this uh, using one of the new Haswell processors. The other thing that is really cool about this board is the fact that thinking about how um, space will be constrained in most mini ITX systems, the dim slots are actually single side latched. So what that means is that what you would do is you would put the stims, your dims in and you would just close it from one side. And because obviously it wouldn't work if it was a double lock on either side, uh, ASUS has figured out that, you know, like this is probably a better solution than the alternative, which wouldn't work at all on this board. Might work on some other boards, but definitely not in this case. Uh, it will also make it a lot easier for you to do uh, dim replacements if you are using a case that's actually very cramped. Uh, you could theoretically, if you're very careful, um, replace low profile dims with larger capacity ones. On the PCI Express slot side here, uh, they made some other improvements as well too. Uh, for example, not only is this a um, full length PCI Express slot, which means that it's capable of powering all of your high-end graphics cards from GTX uh, 6 series all the way up to your GTX 7 series, including the Titan and the GTX 690. Um, it'll do all of that for you and they've made it a lot easier to take your graphics card out too with this little lever right here. That's actually really smart because instead of having to hit a latch that's on the wrong side of the PCI Express slot here, uh, you can just hit it from the edge 
and it'll release your graphics card and you can pull it straight out. So no more uh, losing pieces of PCB in here because you've yanked on it at the wrong angle. So that's really smart. Uh, the other really cool thing is of course that this board, because it's using the new Z87 chipset, it does have six SATA six gigabit per second SATA three ports on board. So more than enough uh, to uh, power all of your uh, SSDs, hard drives, not sure if it's RAID capable or not. Uh, I don't have enough information on this board and it's way too early to, uh, to really tell. The information is just not out there yet. So we'll have to figure it out when this becomes a little bit more official. Uh, the other thing that is very cool, of course, is the fact that this board actually has 802.11ac. So right over here, they call it Wi-Fi Go. This entire module is actually shielded from the outside. Uh, I believe this is a card that actually sits into a slot built specifically for it. It's completely isolated, so it actually, um, believe it or not, it's actually faster than 10 100 uh, Ethernet because uh, it will shoot, I, I think the spec is 500 mega, megabits per second uh, over the air. So it's it, that's really, really impressive. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'll have to look it up as well too. You have your audio connections here. Now, obviously, because it's such a small board, you're only gonna get you know the basics in terms of audio, but it's still a really good audio solution. It's an ALC 1150, which supports DTS uh, Connect uh, and all the great technology that goes along with it. So it's really capable for home theater purposes. Uh, the other thing too is that it does come with an ethernet port, um, six USB 3.0 ports on the back, plus two more for the front panel header. Uh, you also have the optical SPDIF uh, output, HDMI and display port, as well as a DVI port as well too on the back side here. You also get the uh, BIOS flashback feature. So if you, uh, I believe how this works is that if your BIOS is completely screwed up and you need to flash it back to a version that works with it, you just hit this button with the USB drive in the drive and it'll flash it back. Uh, I haven't used it in a while. I think that's still how it works. So. Um, but that's basically the idea. And of course, your basic BIOS reset button right beside it right here. You'll also get four regular USB 2.0 slots on here for your keyboard, mouse, and other peripherals that use this slot. Moving along to this edge right here, you of course have your eight pin a motherboard and your 24 pin motherboard headers. And of course, this is the LGA 1150 socket right here. And uh, one other thing that's kind of in this area right here while we're looking at, because we're gonna talk about it anyway, is that this board actually has four uh, fan expert capable fan headers. So what that means is that uh, based on the number of fan headers that's on this board, you can pretty much control uh, all the case fans in your mini ITX case. Uh, for example, the uh, Prodigy, the mini ITX Prodigy has You'll probably want to control up to four fans on that. So two in the front, one in the rear, maybe one on the top, um, depending on what, what you've got going on there. And because of the Fan Expert 2 software is completely compatible with this board, you can control all of them and um, tune your profiles depending on what your cooling needs are. It's really great software. Uh, I recommend that you, um, if you have an Asus board that's compatible, go ahead and download that because Asus has done some really great work with that. Uh, moving along here, You'll also see that even the uh, there's there's a heat sink, a very small one, because you know like uh, like Haswell has a lot of improvements to allow it to uh, to drop the heat on the motherboard PCB itself. And of course, you get another really nice look at the uh, the full size motherboard grade VRM right here. So overall, this board, you know, even though we don't know a whole lot about it right now, I do get to build a system with this and try it out. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. And as far as pricing and availability goes, we're pretty close to availability. I think we're another month to two months out. They said around mid 2013 and we're getting to that point now. Um, so if I was a betting man, I'd probably say that it would probably hit around the maybe mid July, end of July. And in terms of price point, because the H87 board is out there already for about $129 to $139, um, roughly, uh, this board would probably hit around the $169 to $189 price range when it does hit. And the reason, other reason why I'm saying that is because this board will actually have a more expensive, more premium, bigger brother in the ROG lineup. 
ASUS has actually planned on creating a new uh, board for their ROG lineup and a mini ITX board called the Impact. Uh, I don't know too much more about that other than the fact that it's going to be red and black and it's going to have a lot of the signature features that ROG boards are known for, including better audio, better networking, and maybe a, a few other really great ROG goodies that people expect from the ROG brand name. Uh, so that's a quick overview of a board that you know I still don't know too too much about uh, and I hope that as time goes on I can find out more for you about this board but it's looking pretty sweet I will be able to build with this board uh, for a demo system that I'm working on for the uh, Vancouver LAN party in uh, Richmond BC at the NCIX warehouse so if you are at that event definitely stop by and have a look at the demo system uh, but until then uh, I'm Steven with futurelooks.com thanks for watching and we'll see you again in our next video Take care.